Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, I'm creating a dicky seat, or at least the fundamentals of it, for Olive the T2. And by dicky seat, some people call them buddy seats, basically a fold down type seat that can be occasional use facing that way. And I've left two uh, bolts coming through the metalwork of the bulkhead and through the woodwork of the bulkhead specifically to mount that. So, let's get on. Now, I've got some stainless steel angle. Let's use this washer to mark it out, because free end was no good. Not really a surprise to anybody with any sense. <laughs> Like so. And I'm going to mark the length of 20 centimeters. Then we're going to mark tangent to that curve to that point. washer back on mark the whole position and straight across And I'm going to use the angle grinder to cut that out. Okay, after much, much doing battle with uh, drill, I have made these two out of stainless steel. Stainless steel grabs the drills. It's cheap bulletproofing because it can grab all the fast moving and sharp objects, no problem. Um, so tough work with stainless, but they're gonna look great. I've got this baseboard for my seat and I'm going to use these things. I don't even know what they're called. I, I would call them furniture nuts, but they're kind of a captive nut that you use in wood. And these are M6. And I'll show you how I'm going to use them. I don't want this tight against there because it's going to be trimmed and it's going to gain a little bit of bulk. So I want a nice even gap. So I'm just using the width of some uh, nuts give me a nice spacer, oops, like so. So I've kind of clamped that in there with my finger. Turn this over. And then just mark through the holes. Now 
and I'm going to drill through. You don't drill M6, you drill M8 because, sorry, 8 mil, because you've got this boss that's got to pass through the wood. What we do on the top side of the panel we can put the nut or whatever the right term is push it in it would be too pussy about how things look and then because it's starting to rain, quickly retreat into the garage where it's, to be honest, too hot to work. There we go. And then from the other side, we basically have captive nuts for our M6 bolts. So this one's going on here. And this is just temporary fit because I've got to polish these things up. You can put an M6 through there. These are very long, but give you the idea. Okay, so time to reveal how my hinge design is going to work um, and prove that I actually do think ahead. <laughs> so these have been here since very early in the build. Just going to get a spanner. And what I've done is I've put an 8mm bolt cap head through my hinge where I've just made with a little bit sticking out. I'd like to get some um, button heads. I've got counter sinks at the moment, it's just about what I've got in stock. And then I've got some 8mm rose joints. So spherical bearings. Uh, this one's actually got a grease nipple making it completely OTT. What isn't but I do. And what I'm doing is I'm screwing these onto the bolts that I put for the bulkhead. And again, this is a trial fit, so I'll probably have a washer at the base when uh, Doing it for real. Okay, that's kind of in the right position. I'll try and wash it on this one just so I can try it all out. Okay, and they will obviously get tightened right up using the flats back here yeah i think it looks better with a washer i'm going to put a washer on straight away 
it mega tight for now and then as I showed you I put one bolt through there tightened up and that because these are spherical bearings can get into that very easily the second one needs to be fitted after the fact so I'll get my nut and bolt ready pop that into there Use a washer. We'll look at whether it's the right washer later. And same over here. So we're going to put the bolt through. And then we're going to have the nut. And yeah, one washer is sufficient to make the gap perfect. So actually I could do two much thinner washers. And then we use a spanner on there and an Allen key on here to tease this through the hole. As soon as it's in a little way, like so, it's self-supporting and it can't escape. So let's just put that on there. a seat that's hinged can't come off strong and neat